Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be studying environmental and occupational health. The discipline of environmental and occupational health is concerned with relationships between work, environment and health. Firstly, let's look at the basic principles of environmental and occupational health. Environmental and occupational health is concerned with the health effect of individuals and populations when exposed to air and water pollution, pesticides, organic solvents, dust and physical hazards which occur in the environment, the home or workplaces. Now, let us give a definition to what environmental and occupational health is. Occupational health studies the distribution of health events and health related determinants and its relation to our working environment. While environmental health focuses on the involuntary exposure to physical and chemical factors in the indoor or outdoor environment that may affect health patterns. Furthermore, the field of occupational and environmental health uses similar methods, although the conditions differ. Environmental health studies beyond the health effect of exposure to specific environmental factors and considers the long-term impact of the ecosystem to nearby populations while occupational safety evaluates and provides interventions to reduce the risks of injury and illness using ergonomics, human factors and wellness for future, current and past workers. Meanwhile, how are these achieved? These are achieved by the working principles of occupational health. Occupational health brings together many sciences and many social disciplines in order to achieve social progress for workers and their families. The field recognizes social rights to work in a safe place where due care is given to prevent injury and illness and to protect the health of workers from death, injury and disability, thereby also protecting their families and those who depend on them against loss of income and social support. Although occupational health problems are often overlooked, they contribute a substantial drag on economic development, amounting to at least 4-5% to of gross domestic product of countries. Evaluation of the magnitude of environmental factors and stresses that arise from workplaces is performed by the Occupational and Environmental Health Officer. This is aided by quantitative measurement of the chemical, physical, ergonomic or biological stresses. He can thus give an expert opinion as to the degree of risk posed by the environmental factor or job stresses. Occupational and Environmental Health includes prevention and control of hazards, curative and rehabilitative programs to either reduce or eliminate exposures. Therefore, the scope of occupational health safety are 1. Establishment of sound sanitary condition within the workplace such as water supply, waste disposal, canteen, cloakroom, showers and hand washing facilities, sanitary and safe storage of chemicals. 2. Provision of health services including first aid, 3. Health protection in the work environment 4. Rehabilitation of those that have been injured and 5. Prevention, diagnosis and treatment of occupational related diseases and accidents Therefore, the primary responsibility of the occupational health officer are as follows 1. To protect the health of the employees 2. To maintain an objective attitude towards anticipation, recognition, evaluation and control of health hazards 3. To counsel employees regarding the health hazards and the necessary precautions to avoid adverse health effects. 4. To respect confidences, advise honestly and report findings and recommendations accurately. And 5. To act responsibly in the application of industrial hygiene principles towards the attainment of a healthy full working environment. Consequently, the purposes of occupational health programs are divided into three. Firstly, to determine whether work environment and working conditions of workers are harmful to their health and well-being and prevent such conditions from occurring. Secondly, to promote the best possible physical, mental and social health of people at work. And thirdly, to prevent occupational diseases caused by physical, chemical and biological agents. However, once you recognize a hazard, then you can determine which measure will correct the problem most effectively. Generally, there are five major categories of control measures. These are elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment. 
Eliminating a hazard means removing the hazard completely, while substitution is replacing one hazardous agent or work process with a less dangerous one. An engineering control may mean changing a piece of machinery or a work process to reduce exposure to a hazard. Meanwhile, working a limited number of hours in a hazardous area is an example of administrative control, for example, job rotation. And personal protective equipment include ear and eye protection, respirators, and preventive clothing. Remember that it is always better to control the hazard as close to the source as possible. Therefore, using personal protective equipment is the least acceptable and least effective of all control measures. In summary, occupational health is the branch of public health that is concerned with the control of occupational hazards that arise as a result of or during work activities, while environmental health is the branch of public health that is concerned with all aspects of natural and built environments that may affect human health. Occupational and environmental health has been identified as that science and art devoted to the anticipation, recognition, evaluation and control of those environmental factors or stresses arising in or from the workplace which may cause sickness, impaired health and well-being, or significant discomfort among workers or among the citizens of the community. It encompasses the study of chronic as well as acute conditions emanating from hazard posed by physical agents, chemical agents, biological agents and stress in the occupational environment and the outdoors environment. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more learning videos, like and share this video if it was helpful and leave your comments and questions below.